Today we are going back to Punaka because my holidays are coming to an end. I only have around two weeks, less than two weeks left now to stay in Bataan. Leaving this beautiful place makes me feel so sad but then the good memories that I made here with my grandparents will give me the strength to survive the hard college days ahead. We are now at Bebsur and I mean the chain went to buy some butter and cheese balls. As you can see this road runs straight and I think it stretches like around one kilometer and this place called Bully is known as the Switzerland of Pumtang. We are now at Yotongla Pass and Trongsa is one hour away. Usually this area becomes very foggy but then today it's very clear and we get to see a nice view of the sky and the beautiful mountain ranges. Since we started the journey very late in the morning, we reached Punaka only at around 8 in the evening. We are now here at the suspension bridge which is located in Punaka and you get to see a very nice view of Punaka Valley and the Puchu River from this bridge. This bridge is around 185 meters long and it is a very famous destination for the foreigners and if you happen to be in Punaka, you should definitely visit this bridge. This bridge becomes really shaky and unstable when you reach the center, so be careful while walking. Today we are going to a place called Yami Gempa which is located on a high mountain top and this is my first time going there so I am really excited. A highly renowned Lama is going to give blessing to the public so we are going there to receive his blessing. I thought that we were early but then many people came before us and the main ground is full so we are just sitting under the shade enjoying our lunch. This place looks so beautiful and I have never seen such a crowd in like many years so it's quite exciting. It is now almost like 7-8 years since I last went to Techu and this gathering today gives me a feeling of going to Techu.
my flight is at uh, 7 a.m. tomorrow in the morning so I'll have to leave Punaka at around 1 a.m. in the morning and then after that I will be alone like going alone knowing that it is the last day here in Bhutan is very sad although I have had um, around two months holiday I felt like it was not enough because I was traveling a lot I have stayed in Bumtang for like uh, three weeks before that I stayed in Punakha for two weeks then after Bumtang I went to Pinsaling and stayed there for around one week then after that I came back and this is the final week this is how fast the tra time travels We are now going to Kuru Town to have dinner and do some final shopping before I leave. Then this is Nogodama Primary School and my parents work as teachers here. How is it? Oh, it's okay. 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 After packing my bag, me and my mother 
cooked breakfast for the next day and while I was having a chat with her I felt like I was gonna cry and I felt as if like something was stuck in my throat the night before going away from home is the hardest time for me and the morning departure becomes even more painful